Hi everyone, Daisy here with another layout for shimmers. Um, unfortunately, I had some technical difficulties and the first part of this um, process got corrupted. And so I noticed before I continued on with the layout, so I thought I would just stop and kind of show you what I did to begin with. So I am using two inklings one is called Green Goddess, and one is called Beats Me. The inklings are um, a dry, they come dry, and so you add your own water to them, and they are extremely sh uh, shimmery. There's another dry version um, of the shimmers paints, and those are called creamies, and those don't have the shimmers in it, um, but the inklings are very shiny, as you can see here. So I wanted to demonstrate how well the shimmers paints, like paint even on dark backgrounds. So this is a black piece of cardstock. And all I did was I just used a regular um, little paintbrush. This one here, just, you know, a little paintbrush. This is a size two round paintbrush. And I just kind of freehand made some flowers and some little, um, branches, added some leaves, and then added some splatter. I did rip this part off um, because I am planning on using, I think I'm going to use this paper as my kind of like a background here, and so I thought this would be a cool effect. But again, this was all freehand, just painted on. I did do um, two layers on the flowers, and then about two on the stems and leaves. Um, you can see these leaves here. I didn't do a second coat on, so they're a little um, more sheer than, like, say, this leaf, which I did two coats on. It's you, you can't see it through it at all. So I really love the effect that that has, especially on this black paper. I love using black backgrounds, so I thought it would be a fun kind of way to show it off. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to put you on fast forward again and go through putting together my layout. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to start out by gluing this down to the background paper. And normally I would try to like gut that paper, but it's something I've had in my stash for a long time and I have multiples of them. So I'm just going to cover the whole thing. There was a teeny tiny bit of warping with my painting because I didn't use any gesso on this. Um, I couldn't find my black gesso, but black gesso is a thing if you're curious. Um, and my clear gesso dries weird on black cardstock, so I just didn't prep it at all. I just tried not to use too much water while I was painting. And so there was just minimal, minimal um, warping. But anyway, I glued it down using my ATG, and then I'm going to use some double-sided tape here and stick some crepe paper um, down underneath that torn edge. I thought it would just give it a fun kind of effect on that side. And pretty much I'm going to end up covering the flowers on my background. Um, it was unintentional, um, but it just ended up happening because it was the best place for my photo. So, you know, that's kind of the way it is with mixed media, but I really like the vines coming out from behind the photo and you can see some of the flowers. So it is still nice. After I got the um, crepe paper stuck down, then I put another strip of the double-sided adhesive to stick the paper to the crepe paper so that it would stay kind of down as one piece. And I think I'm pulling a couple more supplies here. Um, I have a photo of my youngest daughter. Again, not it just kind of an everyday photo that she snapped. She had braided her hair and it was curly so or wavy so she wanted a picture um, and so I was just looking for what I wanted to use to kind of back my photo I was thinking about using this Heidi Swap paper from her new collection carefree but it was a little too muted so I pulled out the Paige Evans wonder collection and I'm going to use um, this floral pattern here 
And I really like kind of the added pop that it gives. And it gives slightly, um, so the, the paint in the background, which is the Beats Me, is kind of, it's a pink color, but it also kind of has a little bit of a purpley tint to it. So it goes really well with the pattern paper that I backed my photo with. And so this is kind of where I meant my photo to go, is shoved over and when I stick it down, it accidentally goes a little bit more over the flowers than I meant for it to be. Um, Cause I was thinking I wanted that vine on the right side to be sticking out more. And then I realized what I did and I'm like, oh, well, unfortunately the foam adhesive I used does not forgive um, when you put your picture down where you don't mean for it to be. So I couldn't pick it up and move it, but that's okay. So I'm using the butterfly dots, which are beautiful watercolory butterflies um, and make perfect embellishments. All the dots are amazing. Um, if you haven't checked them out, they're kind of like flare badges, um, but they're not me metal. They're just like epoxy kind of stickers. Um, and they are great embellishments um, and go really well with pretty much everything. They have a whole bunch of different ones that you can choose from. I'm just adding some gold accents here and kind of starting on my layers. Um, most of the stuff I'm using is from Heidi Swap, but I too do pull in some Vicki Booten Storyteller and um, a couple of things from the Paige Evans sticker sheet. So I'm just adding some phrase stickers here. I really liked that kind of purpley pink one that says heart eyes. I don't know, what color is that? Mauve? Maybe it's mauve, I don't know. But I pulled out two other ones, one that says happiness, one that says lovely. And then I'm putting a cluster up by that big flower and then I'm putting one over on the other side and there's only gonna be two clusters. I know it drives me crazy too, but it's going to be okay. Um, because I really liked the vines in the background, so I'm kind of pretending those are a cluster, even though they're not really, but that's okay. So I'm adding a couple of tags underneath um, on that right side with the pink butterfly. Um, I'm adding one tag. I'm going to add a flower sticker. And then the happiness freeze sticker and eventually I'll pull in some of um, the gold embellishments that I have sitting off to the side there as well and then up in that top one I added um, a little circle um, tag that heart eyes I'm going to add lovely up there and I go the other half of that gold label I just stuck down And I'm going to add this one that says one of a kind. That's a like DIY shop sticker that I don't even know. I think I got it at Tuesday morning or something. I've had it for a long time. Um, and these are like the stickers that never stop giving. I mean, there's tons of them in there. So I add one of those. And then here's where I went diving for some more embellishments. And I'm going to pull in, um, like I said, the Vicki Booten Storyteller and pull some chipboard stickers in and some gold hearts from the Paige Evans. But um, so if you have never ordered from Shimmers before, or even if you have, you can always put my name in the comments of your orders, which is Daisy. Put it in the comments of your order for a fun little freebie. Um, it's just you know, a great way to get an extra little something in your order. Um, so don't forget that you can do that. And also there is a Facebook group that you should join. Um, it's a great way to see where, when there's sales going on, which there has been a few pop-up sales and surprise sales. So it's definitely a great way to keep track of that. And also to see what's going on with the design team and everything um, that's being created is being shared there. So it's a great, um, like resource and if you have questions and things um, the design team is more than happy to try to help you with those
And so I'm just going to add some sequins here. Um, these are Spiegel Mom scrap sequins and I'm just going to pull up from a couple of collections that I have and stick them around and that's pretty much going to be the end of my layout. I did add the title beautiful down at the bottom of my photo. I didn't need like a big title or anything so I decided to I, I felt like that kind of blended and went really well so and that's pretty much the end of my layout so I want to thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again next time bye